Hello everybody, Andrea Trowski here with Dental L Tutoring. So if you're a new member and you're kind of stuck on where to get started or you don't feel like you're studying as much as you can be, this is a little piece of advice that I can give you. So the best thing to do is to go through each module one at a time. Now you don't have to start in order of the modules, but I do suggest starting on a module that is a little bit easier for you and you know you feel like you know the module fairly well so if you're if you find oral pathology too hard do not start with with um, oral pathology first because if you start there then you will feel like you don't know anything and you will feel quickly overwhelmed you will feel annoyed and then think okay this isn't you know um, working for me I don't know what to study but if you start with a module that you're you're um, pretty comfortable with. So let's say you start with um, radiography and you feel fairly comfortable with that. Read through the whole module, all of it, <clears throat> and you will still learn a thing or two, if not more. But overall, after you read through the whole module, you'll be saying to yourself, okay, I did learn a lot and I learned something new. So that module specifically is a large one. So you might be thinking, okay, should I go through all of the videos first? Should I go through all of um, the documents? Should I go through the mock exams? Now that depends on you, but I suggest mixing it up, but I would say um, the mock exam packages for the end because the mock exams are more to test your knowledge so that you feel like you know everything that there is to know and then you take the mock exam to actually see if you know everything. And then if you take the mock exam and you say, okay, I didn't do well on that mock exam at all, then that means that you have to go back and study everything over again. But if you take the mock exam at the, at the end and you do a good job, then you know that you can move on to a different topic. So does that make sense? So in the modules, you'll see a combination of PowerPoints, you'll see a combination of um, lectures. So it's up to you if you would like to watch the videos first and then read the PowerPoints or read the PowerPoints first and then watch the videos. That's up to you. I know if I were a student, I would probably read the PowerPoints if I was on the subway or, um, you know, taking transit somewhere because I wouldn't want to listen to a, um, a video because it might be kind of hard to hear. But if I'm doing the dishes, doing laundry, tidying up or something, then while I'm doing that, then I might take that time to listen to a video opposed to sitting down and actually um, reading a PowerPoint. So I think it just depends on what works better for you. And keep in mind that each module could take you a certain amount of time. So you might be looking at a module and thinking, I won't be able to get that done in two hours. Like that's a large um, module. That's okay if it takes you two weeks to, um, to go through an, an entire module, that is okay. If it takes you three hours, then that's okay too. So some modules are a lot larger and some are a lot shorter. So just, just sort of do what works for you, but always study something every single day. Even if it's only for an hour, that is like that is okay. But I do suggest studying about two hours at least and then up to six hours every single day. So if you have time to study on the weekends, then I would study six hours opposed to only an hour because that is when you have time. If you're in, in um, school, let's say from Monday to Friday, or you um, work Monday to, um, Monday to Friday till like 5.30, then you might only have time to study an hour and that is okay. So look at your um, schedule, look at your life and then see what works for you. And if you have questions, let me know. And good luck, you guys. Happy studying.